Twenty years ago, the Australian Institute of Sport established a Gold Coast base for kayak and canoe athletes. Now a $2 million investment has been made to upgrade the facility at Pizzy Park to include triathlon and BMX. With the facility already boasting 24 individual London Olympic-bound athletes, AIS Director Matt Favia says the extension is timely. It goes to to show the quality of the people that are working from here, which is a large driver as to why this facility was redeveloped and extended to take into account and provide services and support for more than just the canoeing and and kayak programs. So I think that's a testament to to what has already been achieved, as well as the quality of the other programs that, that we're keen to support and host. As a former top class rower, Federal Sports Minister Kate Lundy had more than a passing interest in the Gold Coast facility and the importance that sport has on the Australian psyche. We've got many role models through the last century that have inspired, I think, many Australians to go on and and just try their best. But I think public recognition and political recognition of the role that sport plays, being far more than the sum of its parts, has followed through with the AIS, the investment in our high-performance program and investment in physical facilities like this, which benefit our elite athletes but also have a flow-on effect with, with community access too. Beijing kayak gold medalist Ken Wallace excited to welcome the new athletes to the facility and is looking forward to the benefits of working with athletes from other disciplines. The amount of coaches that are here at the moment, everyone's got their own little theories and it's about finding out what best works for us and if we can adapt and learn something off the other sports as well, and I'm sure they're doing the same, then you know, we're laughing. Emma Snowsill has been part of the AIS program for 10 years. She is delighted to have triathlon now full-time in her hometown after splitting her training in Canberra. You always have that correlation between each other and training and it's always exciting to see what other people do and um, it creates a really good atmosphere and um, and everything is, you know, in a sense purpose built up for, for what we have here even though we are so different in all the sports that we do. BMX racer Melinda McLeod is still pinching herself that her sport is now recognised as part of the AIS. It's a, a huge step forward for BMX and I certainly grew up watching a lot of other athletes and, and being part of the AIS and didn't really think that it was going to be possible with BMX but uh, this year being included in the AIS for the first year it's, it's, a, it's very exciting for, for not only us at the, the high performance level but for the grassroots coming through. The facility will not just be for the exclusive use of the AIS with Queensland Academy of Sport Athletes amongst others also running programs at Pizzy Park.